Welcome everybody and uh, today we are looking at another new Arrow uh, video limited edition and it is the Cat of Nine Tails on 4K uh, with plenty of other physical extras and uh, yeah this was released in 1971 directed by Dario Argento who's done several great films that I really enjoy and it stars James Franciscus and Carl Molden and it's the second entry in Argento's so-called Animal Trilogy preceded by The Bird with the Crystal Plumage which is also out on 4K in its own limited edition version and followed up with Four Flies on Grey Velvet which like those films this is in the genre of Jalo and uh, yeah, the uh, basic plot is a reporter and a blind retired journalist try to solve a series of murders. The crimes are connected to experiments by a pharmaceutical company in secret research. The two end up becoming targets of the killer themselves. And uh, yeah, this is easily one of my favourite films from Argento. It might not be my, quite my absolute favourite film. I think Deep Red, which is also getting a 4K limited edition version in September, I think, is uh, yeah getting... Uh, is getting on for probably my favourite Argento effort but this is still really really rather good uh, probably second or third favourite at worst so uh, yeah really nice addition my only real complaint with this being £30 I would have liked it to have come with a uh, a blu-ray disc as well but it doesn't it only comes with a 4k which is a little bit of a shame especially if you don't have full access to 4k uh, blu-ray players all of the time I do so it's no problem for me but if you know you only have a 4K Blu-ray player in a certain room, then yeah, that can become problematic. But yeah, you get a whole host of physical extras. You get a, uh, a nice thick booklet. You get six art cards, and you get a double-sided poster as well. All very nicely done, as per usual for Marrow Video. So yeah, the booklet there. You got James Franciscus there and Carl Molden there. Carl Molden plays the blind journalist, and uh, yeah. Really nice addition, really. I like the inside look of it. You've got a bunch of different uh, shots from the film. And, uh, yeah, you've got several uh, essays. You've got Murder in the Dark, Mystery and Madness in the Cat and Nine Tales by Dario Argento himself. Then you got the Putting the Audience Through It by Barry Forshaw. Then Wipe That Expression of Sympathy from Your Face, Learning to Love the Cat and Nine Tales by Troy Howarth. And then Grace Notes, uh, the voice and music of Edda Del also by Howard Hughes. So, uh, not the actual Howard Hughes, by the way. And, uh, yeah, you also got a write-up about the restoration as well. So, uh, yeah, fantastic film. And, uh, yeah, it's really accentuated by uh, the uh, cinematography, which has great editing and lighting. And, uh, yeah, also other things going for it as well, which we'll go through in a minute. So, yeah, the, uh, the art cards are double-sided. So, you get the uh, poster on the back of all of them. But then you get images from the film on the other side and for some reason these are in German as you can see well at least that one is in German and so is this one in fact but the rest are in Italian for some reason so uh, yeah but very stylish film really really nicely done and yeah these ones are in Italian like I said so yes oh yeah by the way spoilers for the film <laughs> yeah fantastic film this also has a really really good car chase in it as well which you know I don't think Argento's ever done since in terms of his films, but yeah, really fantastic car chase in it. And uh, yeah, it's also got a score by Ennio Morricone, uh, who is mostly well known for his spaghetti western, so yeah, for him to go into Jalo was a, a real big surprise when I first watched this. And uh, yeah, you also get a really fantastic poster, got the original uh, Italian poster on one side, and then the new artwork on the other side. So yeah, a fantastic Italian post. I love the, uh, you know, the merging of a screaming woman with, you know, the cat going on there. Now, actually, there is no actual cat in this film. If there is, I, I can't remember it, but it doesn't play a uh, integral role to the film. Cat and Nine Tails basically means like they've got several different leads to go after, and it's kind of a term of a, 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 a phrase, if you, if you will. And then the uh, new artwork on the back as well, which I, I also really like, especially since. Uh, yeah, it, it, it does a different thing with the uh, woman and the uh, cat. It does it like, it kind of looks like the bird with the crystal plumage, in fact, with the uh, kind of like a, a feather, uh, a tail uh, there. But obviously, cat and nine tails means several different leads there. But yeah, really nicely done uh, poster. As per usual with our video, they always do superb posters on their uh, releases. I have several up already. 
or oh, I have had several up already. And uh, yeah, it's also got a uh, solid pacing. The two leads work really well together. The violence is really well executed. It's got several tense scenes and it's overall really rather entertaining. So uh, yeah, it's a fantastic release outside of the fact that it doesn't have a uh, Blu-ray uh, disc going in the uh, edition as well. Is really only bad thing about this to be honest. And even then, the lack of a Blu-ray doesn't negatively impact me, but it would negatively impact some people as well. So obviously that is a bit of a shame. But yeah, we do have a, another um, Arrow Video 4K release from a Dario Argento film coming up in the future. We have Deep Red. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what this will look like on 4K because this is actually my favourite Argento film. So uh, yeah, really looking forward to that. And hopefully it means that we get more from Argento or other 70s, 60s, 80s films on 4K as well from Arrow Video because Argento has done at least two others that I really like outside of Deep Red and The Cat of Nine Tails, Phenomena and Tenebrae. I'd really like to see them on 4K as well, so hopefully that will be the case at some point. I am a bit ambivalent about getting the bird with the crystal plumage on 4K because, like I said, I don't enjoy it as much as Cat of Nine Tails, uh, but I do enjoy it more than Four gray, uh, Flies on Grey Velvet, which I really didn't enjoy as mu anywhere near as much as these two. Or, or at least the two that I've just shown you. So, uh, yeah. But, um, yeah. I might well get uh, for a Bird with Crystal Plumage if it goes down in price at some point. But, on the whole, it's I'm really going to only replace Blu-rays with 4K films that I absolutely enjoy the most. Rather than slightly less. So, uh, yeah. 4K is only really a... Uh, kind of format that I'm going for the absolute best kind of films, absolute favourite kind of films rather than, you know, just every film is going to get replaced into a 4K because not only would that be too costly but some films really don't need to be in 4K at all. So, uh, yeah, but nonetheless, I uh, really hope you've enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this edition if you've got it yourselves. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to know what your favourite Argento film is. A lot of people it is Suspiria is their favourite Argento film even though, to be honest, that isn't quite my favourite from him. But, yeah, there's several films for enjoying from Argento that could easily be classed as favourites for plenty of people. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to know your thoughts on this edition, uh, if you've bought the uh, previous Argento 4K as well. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.